Hi, are you guys ready to spend the day with me? So the first thing I do when I come into the kitchen in the morning is I put on a pot of coffee. You'll probably notice that my coffee cups do not match the other china. I like to mix it up so my husband never knows what to expect. I am putting organic sugar into the coffee, two small spoons full. And I like whole milk in coffee. Everyone's different. I find coffee is so personal, so personal. Everyone has to mix their own coffee. Generally speaking, before I have breakfast, I will make the coffee, put the coffee on, and then go work out. And then I know all day long, I've done something really good for myself. And then I'll come back down and then I'll have breakfast. I work out every day, 25, 30 minutes is all it takes. I was doing mat Pilates until the Pilates Pro Chair came into my life right before I was getting ready for Dancing with the Stars. And it really helped with core strength and flexibility and it gives me energy. So I start with breakfast. When I have time, I'm gonna have Greek yogurt because I love it when I don't have a really early call in the morning. Then I have time to stir up this yogurt and actually make a pretty presentation. My favorite way to do this is to um, sprinkle some pumpkin seeds. <gasps> it's too many. Oh well, I spread them around. Some lingonberries. I love lingonberries. Both the pumpkin seeds and these lingonberries are organic. And I put a dollop of lingonberries right on top. My mother is of Swedish descent, so that's probably where I heard of lingonberries the first time. And it's very delicious, and it's very good for me, and it's fuel. I can run on this. If it's a cheat day, I'm probably going to have eggs, and uh, if my husband's making this, blueberry pancakes with fresh blueberries. I mean, if I'm going to really cheat, I want it to be worth it. <laughs> so that's what we do. It is such a luxury to be home at lunch. So, I still wanna be fit and feeling good, so I start with organic beefsteak tomatoes, little salt and pepper, then slices of fresh roast turkey. The tomato becomes a substitute for an English muffin or toast or a slice of bread, and it really tastes great. I put avocado slices. I try to arrange them artistically, again, because the eye I learned from my chef husband, the eye eats before the stomach, and I think it's so true. Champagne vinegar, just a light hand, sprinkle it over. The best extra virgin olive oil I can find, either from Italy or from Napa. And then, I think the reason my husband calls this a concoction is because then I sprinkle fresh mango, and all of that adds up to a very yummy lunch and uh, a very healthy one. Before I was working out, if somebody told me that I would actually choose fruit over French fries, I would never believe them. But suddenly from doing my Pilates workout, within two weeks, I suddenly only craved food that was good for me. Crazy, I mean, it just happened that naturally. And now I really am obsessed with it, so I love it. I love the results, that's what I love. So I'm here with my personal chef, love a man who cooks, and he's gonna cook for me tonight, for us tonight. We have a date night going on. Take it oh, away, yeah. it's all okay. yours. Make it suit his, one of the favorite meals, which is a pip lettuce with a julienne of apples, cucumbers, and endive salad, and radishes. And for an entree, we have the king salmon, broccoli, and carrots steamed. Then we go and start peeling the apple. I feel like I should be doing that like I should be the sous chef. Let me interview you while you're doing all this prep work. How long have you been a chef, Helmut? Well, I would say about 25, 28 years. In Switzerland, and Germany, I studied in Austria. Well, we met uh, when I came to the United States, when I uh, worked in the Garden City Hotel. And Susan would work there in the summertime during uh, her college years. At the time, I was a little, too, a little too old for her, so she wasn't gonna have anything to do with me. But then I saw Helmut at the beach one day. I was with a girlfriend at the beach, and I saw this man in the distance in the parking lot. We were leaving, and he was coming, but I thought, 
Who is this? He's very attractive. Who is that? Oh, he's parked right next to us. And then when I realized who it was, I, I remember in the parking lot at Jones Beach saying, oh, hi, chef. <laughs> Everything Helen makes is just delicious. Um, it's a really good marriage. I love to eat and he loves to cook. So there you go. <laughs> and so we have uh, the carrots and the broccoli in the steamer. So while they're working, we take care of the king salmon. The color is absolutely beautiful. And we need to put some salt on here, a little bit of oil. Salmon has a lot of great properties. It's a superfood. It's great for your skin. It's great for your bones. Yes. It chives is great with salmon. Mm -hmm. While this is all cooking normally, we should have a little bit of wine. That's a pretty good idea. You know what I mean? That's right? a good idea. It's always good to have a little bottle of Cheers. Love Cheers. Love you too. Okay, now we're gonna finish off the salad with pepper, salt, and you always put the vinegar first. Because if you put the oil first, that means the oil will coat your lettuce and the vinegar can't penetrate. If we're eating at home, salmon is definitely something we're gonna choose to have. And lucky me, if Helmut's cooking, oh, yeah. I'm eating. Oh, honey, this looks gorgeous. Mmm. Oh, it's excellent and it's mm, just mm. perfect, honey. You cooked it just perfect. Okay, we've had breakfast together and lunch together, but this dinner, this is our date night. That's right. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>